AUEC, UEC, REC, and store credit. What's the difference? To give a quick summary, there are currently five types of currencies in Star Citizen. They each serve a different purpose, from an in-game virtual currency to tokens used to purchase melted pledges. Although subject to change, these EC currencies will be the most important and most common. AUEC is the current currency we are using now during development. Denoted by the A in the name, AUEC stands for Alpha United Earth Currency and will remain the main currency during the development of Star Citizen. This currency is used to purchase weapons, equipment, and even ships. However, this currency or any of the items you buy with it will not carry over to the final game release, or even that of a server wipe. Now, server wipes occur every quarterly right now and may happen even earlier, so don't be too worried about saving up your credits. If you want to find out the fastest way to making AUEC, check out this video here on how to do a Widow cargo run. Otherwise, to earn AUEC, simply check your Moby Glass in-game for missions and contracts to run. UEC, which is the release version of AUEC, will be the currency used to purchase most, if not all, things in Star Citizen. UEC is currently not obtainable using in-game methods, however is obtainable in certain game packages, by purchasing them through real-world cash. However, you will not be credited with the UEC straight away that comes through your game packages until the game goes live. Although not implemented yet, UEC will probably remain the main currency of the game and will take effect when the game releases, allowing users with starting currency to have a slight edge. You can find the number of starting credits you will receive when the game goes live by navigating to My Hangar, then selecting the expand arrow on your pledge. This will reveal an also contained section listing what is within your pledge. Rental Equipment Credits or REC is another currency in Star Citizen, which allows players to rent ship equipment such as weapons and components, all the way to full-on ships from the Electronic Access Store. The rented items, however, will only be available in Arena Commander. In this mode, you'll also have the opportunity to earn REC by completing ranked games. REC is also rewarded in the two monthly paid subscription services. This is a good way to try out ships and ship loadouts before committing to the purchase in the verse. Beside your in-game currencies, you also have two website-based ones, Store Credit and Credit Buyback Tokens. Store Credit is a currency that can be used towards pledges, ship upgrades, merchandise, and UEC packages on the official RSI website. Get this currency through reclaiming, also known as melting, pledges under the My Hangar section of your account on the RSI website, or by redeeming gift certificates on your account. You can additionally use store credit in the online store to purchase game packages and even monthly passes to the subscription service. If you have insufficient store credit for a desired purchase, you can apply the store credit you have toward the order and pay the remaining balance through another payment method. However, please note that pledges made with store credit cannot be gifted and credit cannot be transferred between accounts, even if only partially purchased with store credit. Once per annual quarter, backers are provided with one credit buyback token. A credit buyback token allows you to buy back a pledge using store credit generated through the reclamation of a pledge or gift card. You can redeem a credit buyback token to allow a pledge to be brought back into the game if you have melted it. Buyback credits do not stack, so there can only be a maximum of one on your account at any given time. Your current balances for most of your currencies can be found on the main RSI website, including the credit buyback token. However, for AUEC, the Alpha UEC, you will be able to find that in-game under your Moby Glass. Also, whilst I think it's unlikely many of the things said will change, please keep in mind that everything I've said that may be current and accurate now are subject to change during the development. If you guys have any further questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching.